2000 Duck Holiday portrayalist Bob Boyle finally saw his idea of having the Historical Society conduct a fundraising ghost walk at the Linwood or Pioneer Cemetery come to pass. That year, volunteers with a passion for history, some with acting experience and some not, did research, wrote their own scripts, and as best they could, told the life story at the grave of the character they chose to portray in period costume at the cemetery. Over the years, thanks to the artistic creativity of Connie Lewis, posters advertising this annual ghost walk drew in people wanting to see history accurately brought to life. In 2018, Bob retired from performing as Doc Holliday in the Ghost Walk, and when the necessary 54 volunteers needed to make it happen were not forthcoming, the event was canceled. Brought back in 2019 by popular demand and a community willingness to not let it die, plans were made for 2020 when the pandemic hit. It forced us to realize 25 to 30 people crowded around a grave to hear each of the usual six performances was not going to happen if we wanted to keep everyone safe. Board member Clara Miller presented the idea of a virtual ghost walk and on October 22nd at 7 p.m. The rest, as they say, soon will be history, brought to life a new way. The live streaming event will honor the late actor Bob Wiley and uh, guide Ed Cochran. Bob played real historic figures, Wild Bill Smith and The Scavenger. In the ninth video in our living history on the Hotel Colorado, we mentioned Charles E. Hughes was part owner of the Hotel Colorado. Charlie's father, Ed Hughes, portrayed by Paul Hamilton, will tell the story of his son's tragic death as well as his successful bottling businesses. Lisa Dormer will be Louisa Swartz. Chip Wells portrays Carolyn Clark Barlow, Dottie Barlow's mother. Grace Malone is Ella Seller. Lindsay Mills portrays Ida Lee Auburn. And Mike Miller is coming out of retirement to do Kid Curry one more time. Thesbian Lisa Langer will play a surprise character, so don't miss the 20th annual thoroughly virtual ghost walk to see the new ghost. Go to glenwoodhistory.com in the next few weeks for more information. This is Bill Kite of the Glenwood Springs Historical Society and Frontier Museum bringing you living history.